the student will log on to their student portal. They will click on the current students tab and then the e-assessment information page. Students will then navigate to the practice papers on e-assessment. At the end of this page, it's a link to the Sears platform. Students will need to enter their username, which is their student email address as per their student portal and password, which is their student number. Students will have two practice papers for financial reporting interim assessment with one attempt at each paper. Once a student logs in and starts the assessment, this is counted as an attempt, even if no questions are answered. Once logged into the Sirius platform, a list of practice papers will be displayed. Once the start test button is clicked, the introduction page for the exam will appear. It will include the amount of time allotted for the exam, which is 90 minutes for the CAP2 financial reporting interim assessment. Students must answer all parts of this assessment. If students do not complete their exam within the allotted time, their script will automatically be submitted. The student will then need to scroll to the end of the page and click on the green start assessment button. The exam time will only begin once this button has been clicked. On the left side of the screen contains the section narrative. On the right side of the screen shows the question, i.e. the requirement and the part the requirement belongs to. For each section, students can expand either the section introduction box or question box by moving the mouse in the following way. Students can also click the arrow for the text box to pop out, giving the student full screen with answer box. The text can either be increased or decreased by using the A plus or A minus button. Students can flag a question if they are not sure of their answer. They can highlight the question to remind them to return to that particular question. The student will need to click the flag button again in order to remove the flag. The overview button can show the student the overall question answers which questions have been flagged. This is located at the bottom part of the screen. Students can skip to different parts of the exams. They can navigate easily through the questions without having to continuously click the next button. Students can click the arrow to pop out the section text box and then maximize the answer box to full screen when entering their answers. Click on the maximize button like so. The section text box can be adjusted also. Students can build tables for their answer. For example, in question three. To input the table, click on the table icon in the toolbar. Then choose the amount of rows and columns needed. Ensure the table outline is highlighted yellow. This shows the text will be input in the table and not outside. Students can input header rows. Click on the row icon, click header row, and then insert the text. Students can use the tab button to skip to the next row.
Students can also underline text or numbers in the following way. Highlight the text or number and click the underline button. Students can also add columns or rows. Click on the row or column icon and insert row or column to the right or left of the text. Students can also delete columns. Click on the row or column you wish to delete and select delete row or column. If students wish to input text above or below the table, they will need to click on the arrow above the table or below the table like so in order to input text. Students may also be asked to calculate consolidated retained earnings. This can be seen in question four of the practice paper. The solution should be laid out in table form like so.
Once students wish to complete the exam, click the green complete assessment button. If the student runs out of time, the exam will automatically be submitted. Two notification pop-up boxes will appear. Click confirm and then finish. For the practice papers, students will review their scripts and self-mark. Students will need to click the next window to view their script answers. This is only available for practice papers and not the live exams. No scripts are marked for practice papers, so the student score will show as zero. Students will need to compare their answers to the suggested solutions on the Chartered Accountants Ireland website. Students will need to click the results tab to show all questions and students' answers. Students will then need to scroll down through their answers and ensure they click the show more button in order to show their complete answer. Once students have done this, they will need to right click and select print or save as to save or print their scripts. This is the only time students can print off their answers. Once this window is exited, the script cannot be retrieved. This PDF or printout can then be used to compare to the suggested solutions. The Institute will be keeping the e-assessment resource pack up to date. Please remember to check this page for any further information.